Good morning from London. Well, West Hampstead to be specific. Um, I'm all, it's about eight o'clock. I'm awake. I am all packed up. I don't have to leave for like two hours. So I'm gonna go find some coffee. So I just walked up the street to this little bakery called Gales and I got a cinnamon bun, but it's very different than the cinnamon buns you get in the States. I'll show you when I get inside and open it up. I had hopes to be able to find like a park bench to sit outside and eat this and chill because there's like different prices for eat-in and uh, takeaway for everything here and I am just frustrated paying like a ton of money to sit in a restaurant for no reason. Um, so um, I got my little iced latte, I'm so excited um, to have a dairy drink and not have to worry about it. Um, oh, funny thing in Europe, so all of the ice leads, well, almost all of them, there's a few places that have flat tops, but most of them just do the dome tops. So regardless of whether or not you get whipped cream, you get that top. Kind of interesting. But yeah, I was gonna sit outside, but it's kind of lightly sprinkling and also in the city. So there's not really a ton of park benches, just chilling. So we're gonna go back to my room instead. So that is a cinnamon roll here. It's like not iced, and it has like cinnamon sugar on it. I'm excited, I'm excited. Y'all, this is everything I want a cinnamon roll to be. It's like croissant dough, like breading, and then like cinnamon sugar. Pretty amazing. Also, the other reason I keep making a big deal over being able to have dairy milk here is that in the recent, I don't know, last six to eight months, dairy milk in the US and I have not been friends. Um, I've been having trouble with like ice cream and yogurt and stuff like that. Gives me some stomach problems. Um, but here, I don't have any problems. Like, I mean, I still can't like, you know, have like milk and cream and all of these things all at once. But like, I can have this and be totally fine. I can have a yogurt and be totally fine, which is not the case back home right now. Um, the other thing is that this doesn't have any added sugar. It's just decaf espresso and milk and it's fine like it's sweet enough it's not sweet but like it's not bitter either as long as the espresso is like reasonable it's fine also can't do that in the states so real questions what are we doing with our dairy industry that's my question hey look it's the uh uk version of that french chain Hello and welcome to Heathrow. Um, I got through security in like 40, 45 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. That includes like my bag check and everything like that. So it's just about noon. Um, weirdly, they're not gonna tell us where, like what gate I'm at until one and the flight boards at 1.20, so that's gonna be fun. But in the next hour, I think I'm gonna wander around, get some lunch, see if there's any last minute souvenirs I need or want. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Hello and welcome to the uh, terminal at uh, sunny in sunny California. Um, I just landed deplaned, went through super quick immigration because I got to use my global entry, which was really exciting. Um, got my LUT bags, literally walked it 100 yards, dropped it back off again. And now I'm having a slight mask break because, you know, I've had one on since got a lot of hours. Before now, I have no idea. Um, it's 5.30 p.m. California time. I'm fairly certain it's like 1.30 in the morning in my brain or something. So that's how it's going. Um, I have about a two hour layover before my flight to Seattle. I get in about 10 p.m. local time. And then I'm probably gonna take the train back to my house. Um, so I'll probably get in around midnight, but that'll be eight in the morning London. So, excited to see where my headspace is at that point in time. Wish me luck. And it's 
full circle. I am back in Seattle at SeaTac. So now I just need to take the train back to my house. And after a, what is currently 24 plus hours of traveling, I will be home. Okay, I made it to my stop. So now I have to walk the 0.7 miles back to my apartment. Um, you may remember from the first vlog entry that I mentioned it's 0.7 miles and that I wasn't feeling okay about it because it was downhill. Now, um, it's uphill <laughs> and it's a pretty steep hill. Let me, let me just tell you. And I am functioning on like 24 hours of no sleep. So um, also my body has no idea what time zone I'm in. Um, it's 12.15 a.m. Seattle time, which means it's 8.15 a.m. England time. Um, and I woke up yesterday England time at 5.30 in the morning. So, you know, obviously you will already know the outcome after um, this video, but keep, keep me in your thoughts. Also, a thought as I walk, I wore my mask that whole trip. Like I took it off to drink water, to eat. And that was pretty much it. Like I took f five minutes maybe at the San Francisco airport. And I probably had about 10 minutes at the Seattle airport. Like when I was walking, I was outside. But other than that, I wore my mask for like 22 hours. And was it fun? No. But did I do it? Yes. So anybody who's whining about putting on a mask going to the grocery store can just shut up. That's all I have to say because I'm sleep deprived. Well, I made it home and I thought I'd end this vlog in the same way that I started the first one. So thanks for coming along on the journey of this adventure series with me. And um, thanks for watching. Good night.